For our today's lesson, I will be discussing to you on how to produce output data using computer system. So we are now in quarter two, week four. When we talk about this one, we're talking about application software. So application software is a computer software designed to help the user to perform singular or multiple related tasks. So we have their word processing, spreadsheet or playing of audio and video files. What are the different application software? We have their word processing software, database, and spreadsheet. Under word processing, we have Notepad. So let us see what are the differences between these three word processing. Then we have WordPad. C. From Notepad to WordPad. Then we have Word. Okay, so what are the differences between these three? So when we talk about WordPad or Notepad, menu bar will be displayed only and the cursor. When we talk about WordPad, it has been upgraded already. From menu bar, we already have the toolbars wherein you can use whenever you are typing or encoding under WordPad. Then, it has been upgraded again from WordPad to Microsoft Word. So, there's a lot of tabs or menus already. Then, every time that you're going to click the menu, the toolbar will be changed. So, that is word processing. Then, we have the database software. Database software is commonly used by person who works in school, institutions, university, or company. We have their access. Why did I say so? Because database is used to retrieve information. So, example, I encoded De La Cruz. When I encoded De La Cruz, automatically all the information pertaining to De La Cruz will be displayed, such as last name, middle name, birthday, address, parent's name. So that is a database. Next, we have the spreadsheet. So, spreadsheet is commonly used by the people who would like to perform the arithmetic operation. So, meaning to say, you can get the sum, the product, the difference, or the quotient. So, let's say, for example, 10 plus 5. C, 10 plus 5, that is answer. 15, then 5 plus 7, the answer should be 12. Once I press enter, I got the answer 12. So that is a spreadsheet. Next, we have multimedia software. These are the different application software that we use for relax, for editing. We have their audio if you would like to listen to music. If you would like to watch a movie, you can use the video or media player. If you would like to edit a video or a picture, you can use Windows Movie Maker, KineMaster, Filmora, Vegas. Presentation software is the one that I am using right now, and that is Microsoft PowerPoint. You can present a certain topic nicely through the use of the different animations and transitions. We also have what we call Prezi, but Prezi can only be used in an online mode. Graphics, editing software, we have Adobe Photoshop and Corel Draw. The difference between these two, Photoshop, you're just editing a certain pictures, image, images, or shapes. Corel Draw, you can create a specific logo already. This is commonly used by a company. Specific shapes, we're talking about the specific shapes and the specific size. Desktop publishing software, we have their MS Publisher and Adobe Page Maker. So, these are commonly used in creating a newsletter. So, aside from a newsletter, you can even create a ready-made invitation. So, no need for me to design because a ready-made design will be displayed already. You just have to choose what design are you going to use. So, see. There's a plenty of design. What you need to do is to encode or enter the data or information needed. So when we talk about application software, we're also talking about peripherals. 
For without the peripherals, you will not be able to manipulate the different application software. What are those peripherals that I am talking about? Peripherals, those are the devices that we plug in at the back of our computer. Those are the different devices that we plug in in our monitor. We have three types of peripheral devices, namely input device, output device, and storage devices. Under input devices, we have the different kinds of input devices such as keyboard, mouse, touch screen, scanner, webcam, and microphone. Then under the output devices, we have their, what we call now the display devices and the graphical output device. So we have there the monitor. What are the different kinds of monitor? We have CRT or cathode ray tube. We have LCD, then we have LED. We also have what we call the speaker under the output device and the printer. So printer, this is the device that we need to use to produce a hard copy of the one that we encoded in our computer. But how are we going to print our file? So to print our file, whether you are using Word, Excel, Publisher, Access, you can always use the file tab or you can use the shortcut key if you want to. How are we going to do that? So to print, go to the file tab or you can simply press immediately the control plus P from your keyboard. So that is the shortcut key on how are you going to print your file. Or you can use file then click print. After that, the different commands under the print command will be displayed, such as what is the name of the printer? Is it Epson, Brothers, Canon? So you need to change the printer's name. So in my case, I will be using Epson L110. Number of pages. So you can simply print the number of pages. How many pages? So, since I have 85 pages, I encoded 1 to 85. Or if you would like to specify a certain page number only, you can type here 80. Let's say, for example. Next, what is the size of the paper? We have short, that is 8.5 by 11. We have legal, that is 8.5 by 14. Then we have the long band paper, that is 8.5 by 13. You can even change the margins, the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. Then, how many copies are you going to print? 5, 10, 29. Then, what is the orientation? We have two kinds of orientation, portrait and landscape. This is portrait and this is landscape. So, text will be arranged in a vertical form. So, that is portrait. Text will be arranged in a horizontal form that is landscape. After changing the different information needed, you can now hit or click the print button. So that is the easiest way on how are we going to print our data. How are we going to produce output using our computer system.